Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Ashley. I'm glad you stopped here today. I'm talking about a new brand that is brand new to me at least, and I'm not sure how long the brand has been a while, been around, but it's called La Splash Cosmetics, and they came out with this palette right here that's super highly reflective and making my <laughs> camera settings kind of bug out, and it's called the Golden Gatsby. So it comes with this high shine, foiled um, insert right here that has like the shade names on the back and it says darling it wouldn't be a party without you and then actually on the back it's actually kind of cute they have some descriptions of the shade names so it says french 75 it's a cocktail made from gin champagne lemon juice and sugar oh that's actually nice because i'm going to like a little daytime book club party and we're going to make cocktails so maybe i can just make one of these cocktails on the back and then they have the mary pickford the cocktail named after the 1920 scarlet made from right rum fresh pineapple juice grenadine and molachino liquor and so it actually just tells you like all of these little beverages with the names are on the back so that's actually pretty cute and then on the back it has where their the cosmetics company is made from it has the ingredients of the eyeshadow palette um of course, it's cruelty-free. Oh, and once you open it, it's actually good for two years. So most shadow palettes, I think they say 12, 18 months. But you know, if you keep your shadows in a cool, dry area, they'll definitely last a lot longer. And then the total palette is uh, 10 grams net weight. And then uh, it says it's about one gram per shadow. It's made in the USA and it's by LaSplashCosmetics.com. And it's manufactured by Don Davir incorporated okay and then it has all their social media handles on the back side right here so i saw this file and i was intrigued you get it from ulta beauty and it's an online exclusive only so i did order it from ulta beauty a while ago and it's, i'm now just getting a chance to play with it this is what it looks like once you take the unicarton off i really like what it looks like without the unicarton see if i can hold it back without my settings changing so much there we go that's so much better so this is what the palette looks like and once you open it up you do have a mirror right here and one of the shadows it's like a tiny bit disturbed if you can see but it's nothing wrong you do have like this super foil metallic background right here that's kind of disturbing my lighting and then you do have a mirror right here and it comes with one of those little plastic things you could peel off that i haven't done yet and the mirror quality is not bad it's decent you see my ring light and my lights there and then you have two four six eight you have ten shades Duh, ten grams a shadow come on ash one gram each I just said that but you know you got ten grams <laughs> you got ten shadows right here and so um ironically when i saw the promo pictures i was hard to tell but when i opened it up i was like oh these are very foily and metallic and to me, these foil and metallic shades, they really reminded me of this particular palette. Mothership 2. I was like, these shades are kind of reminiscent. The foil capacity of it. Now, I've never tried this brand. And I don't know how their shells perform. But I was like, they, they, they kind of see some resemblances. Especially here, here. Uh here here some of the matte shades dare i say they somewhat look pretty similar to each other you know so we'll see how it performs of course this is mother pat and this is the splash but i was just kind of looking at some of the reviews it has uh five and a half stars so i'm really excited to kind of play with this and see what this is all about and so like i said the palette actually retails for 28 dollars. you can only buy it on ulta cosmetics online so that is a downside so let's go ahead and let's start swatching these things and they do have like the color descriptions on the bottom so let's get rolling and then i'm gonna go ahead and demo what i look for you i do have a little bit of makeup because i did film another video prior to this you know such as life starting with the I'm going to start with this row one and then I'm going to go to row two with my swatches. Oh, so far as I'm just like putting my fingers in a pan, I have not swatched this palette already. I'm like, these, they feel pretty good. Okay, so the first shade is called French 75 and it's a satin vanilla formulated with the highest grade of pigments to deliver full coverage with an easy blend. 
these are the descriptions on the Ulta website so that is French 75 then you have Mary Pickford, a satin naked peach tone. It's the perfect shade to wear alone or the perfect transition color for any look. So this is Mary Pickford. So they feel very nice and soft. They feel it's much pretty light, so we'll see. Highball an intense toasty orange matte shade to add warmth to any look. It's highball. So they swatch pretty light. We'll see. Swatching, you know, only tells half of the story. So then we have Old Fashioned. It's a chocolate ganache, anyone? Add depth to any look with this buttery brown matte shade. So this is Old Fashioned. So, so far that's what we have. And I know this one, it looks chalky, but it does not feel chalky at all to the touch. So we have one more shade in the first row which is the shade Mint Julep. And it says it is a matte moss color to add a pop of color to any neutral look. This is Mint Julep. Kind of can barely see it, the swatches. Okay. Okay, so for the second row, we have Hot Seat Totsy, which is described as an ultimate foil shadow. Amp up any look using the silvery rose gold tone. So this is Hotsy Totsy. The next one is Ritzy Glam Up Your Looks using this 24 karat foil shadow. So that's Ritzy. That swatches actually pretty nicely. And then we have Sheba, which is a sparkly copper dream. That's what it's described as. Sheba. Then we have Zazzle. If Mother Nature was the shade, it would be the perfect forest green for the Michael Flex of Gold. So that's very pretty. And one more shade in the last row, and it's called Speak Easy, which is an intense matte black. So these are the swatches. One swatch just okay, but you know, swatches don't tell the full story of everything. So let's see how they apply on the eyes. Okay, so I brought you in closer, so let's get started. I did uh, grab out of my drawer the uh, Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm sorry, Too Faced. The NYX Glitter Glue, just in case, just because I saw how some of the swatches were. So just in case we need to add in reinforcements for some of those shimmer shades. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush, of course. My eyebrows are already filled in using the ABH Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. Oh, I have some Urban Decay Primer Potion in my eyes in the shade Caffeine that was starting to do a little crease action. Let's tap that out. How, how the primer gonna crease? Come on, get it together. All right. So, going in first, I am going to take this MAC 217, 217 brush and I am going to go in with, let's start with Mary Pickford. It's very light, but we'll see what we'll get. Just gonna apply it up here. I mean, to me, it's just kind of like it's setting the primer. It's not really doing anything. Let's see. Now I'm going to take that same brush and go in with the shade Highball, which is the warm brown shade right here. So, let's see. I'm just going to kind of bring that down. in my crease kind of blend it upwards so you can see it kind of peeking through since that first shade Mary Pickford did not do anything there and the shadows they do feel smooth they do have quite a bit of kick up but they do feel smooth so they kind of look chalky but they don't feel chalky. It just 
especially when I swatched that shade French 75. I think they could be a slightly more pigmented though. Just a little. We could stand for a little bit more pigmentation, I believe. Okay. So, now what I would like to do, I would like to go in with this flat shader eyeshadow brush right here and go in with the shade uh, Mint Julep. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I have hard pan already? It's right here. It's my, my hand might have been a tiny bit wet. Okay, but it's still picking up. So I'm going to go in with the shade Mint Julep. And I'm going to begin to pack it. Okay, it's picking up. Okay. And on top of that other shade. Okay. Wonderful. So it's picking up. And I'm just going to pack it right here along the lash. I'm kind of simulating like we're doing the cut crease. And I'm gonna it's turning darker in some spots. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer <laughs> so you can slip it. It turns so dark right there. Okay, I sorry guys, I got the camera in a better position so you can see. I was like, my position was really off with the camera. Um, I, so what I was talking about is like how it's really dark right here. I don't know if my lid was a little wet because I did have to flick away a little bit of an eye booger, but I'm just concerned. Like my eye wasn't red over. I mean, wasn't. I don't know. It's blending darker. It's just, just I don't know. I'm gonna press. Them. Let's see. Okay, my eye is not wet at all over here. So let's see what's goes on over here. I want it. To like pack this on and put that other glittery shade. Okay, I think it's doing a little bit better on this side. Okay, so this is kind of good to know. It's looking a little bit better. Okay. This eye is a little tragic, but I guess, girl. Okay. So, what I would like to do now, I'm going to go in with some of my NYX glitter glue. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Moon Dust brush as soon as I find it. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that glitter glue on with this Anastasia uh, number 18 brush. Kind of like a concealer brush, but it works really well to put like mixing mediums things of that nature on. I'm gonna go ahead, put a little glitter glue on. So I wanna see, I wanna put Zazzled on. Just gonna take a little bit of the glitter glue. And I'm gonna do this eye first and this eye. Just gonna like stick that in the middle. Right there, kind of spread it around. Let's see, right there, okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Moon Dust Brush and I'm gonna take this shade Zazzled right here. And it does pick up on this brush, but this Urban Decay Moon Dust Brush is very good for shadows of this texture, hence the name Moon Dust, because it's modeled after those shadows. Okay, and I'm just doing padding versus sweeping motions because that will give us more pigmentation. Okay, it's packing nicely onto there. 
Well, let me get it towards the bottom. So quite a bit of fallout, even with the, the glitter glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet it. You see I have all that fallout. Go ahead and spritz it with my Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray. And you know what? I'm just gonna Okay, I'm just going to continue to pack this color on. See what we get. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take this large tart powder brush and try to flick away some of this fallout, which really didn't help because <laughs> see right here, a lot of that shadow just Ooh, okay, so do your base last or powder. Did not powder. I don't really like baking. I have dry skin. Okay. Okay, let's keep pressing on. I don't know how this is working, but let's keep pressing on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take this small uh, Eddie Funkhauser brush right here. And I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Speak Easy. I'm just going to add that to the inner corner. Give it a little depth. Now this shade does seem pretty powdery. It's so much kick up. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of crazy. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna fix this, guys. I'm going in with my MAC uh, 224 small synthetic blending brush. I'm just gonna blend that out. Well, that was a small power surge if you heard that and you heard my sump pump battery kind of kicking in. Okay, let me just blend this out. Ooh, this black, it kind of fades away. It's Okay, I will clean it up in the end, but let's just kind of keep pressing on. I'm just like, I'm confused. My transition looks good with that shade high ball. I'm just gonna go back in, re-intensify it. That part does not look bad. Everything else looks crazy, crazy, but okay. Now, let's go in take a little bit more of the Too Faced glitter glue and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner same on the size here brush I'm gonna put the Too Faced glitter glue right here do one side at a time now I'm gonna go in Ay caramba, <laughs> like that brush seems so dirty. I feel like I'm really struggling here, guys. Go in with my little tart brush that I like for my shimmers. Pick up the shade, uh, let's see. Let's pick up the shade Ritzy right here. shade is pretty flaky. 
doesn't really pick up very well. Let's see what we get. Okay. It's high shine. I don't know, the texture of it is just. Okay, so this shade really picks up nicely with the glitter glue, as you can see. It's very high shine, but it's very flaky. Keep that in mind. You're definitely going to need like a glitter glue. I do not see the sticking without a glitter glue. Okay. <laughs> Let's make something happen, guys. Okay. That black is kind of patchy. That black is patchy. Let me put some more green with this Urban Decay Moon Brush. Going back in with, again with Zazzle right here. Just so it could meet that gold shade. Doesn't look like we just put up a lot of gold there. Ooh, they do not layer well over each other. Um, okay. I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I wear the shade Butterscotch. And I'm going to take a little bit, I'm going to clean my brush off with that glitter glue I had on. I'm going to take that um, same um, Anastasia number 18 brush. And I'm just going to take a little concealer off of here, just on the tip of the brush. And I'm trying to get this wing together, okay? wind is like really kicking up I don't know okay guys I am back this is the final look um whew, this thing was interesting okay so all like all things aside so you know I said the color scheme looked very comparison to uh, the Pat McGrath Mothership too and I'm not comparing this palette to that okay I just said that some of the colors reminded me now I just look back at Ulta Beauty, uh, Ulta Beauty and their website because when I bought the palette it was new to the market so there really weren't any reviews on it so I just bought it just off of my impressions of it that it was a beautiful palette now I was looking back at some of the reviews and they were saying like they were having some of the same issues I was having like the mattes were not good uh sparkly flaky okay so, I think you guys can see I really, really struggled with this palette at this point. I think that um, Highball, it did perform pretty well. Mary Pickford, there weren't really, uh, it didn't even really show up on my skin. So, you just see like a little shade. So, my intent was, as you saw, I put mint julep down because I wanted to have a little bit of the pink. I'm... I <laughs> wanted to have a little bit of the green. This palette got me messed up. I don't even know what color it is. I wanted to put a little bit of the green right here and have it peeking through. But I really wanted to have like a base color for Zazzle to pop. And um, I guess soon as after I swatched it, I just kind of realized that, you know, I was going to need a glitter glue in order for these shades to pop. I think overall, like that black Speak Easy was super patchy. Like, look, I have, like, no shadow right here, <laughs> either here. I mean, it's just bad. It was very hard to work with. And for $28, like, mm-mm, no, 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 no. I mean, get get you, if you want some high foil sheen like this, maybe pick up a couple of the uh, Stila Glitter and Glows. And they have, like, a fire collection, I want to say. So, high shine. Uh, the the Zazzle color, the color scheme is pretty. The palette itself, the concept itself is pretty. I love the design right here. I love the packaging. I love how they like they put the drinks on the back of the uh, palette. I 
But I'm like, y'all did all this explaining of the palette and the shades do not perform how they say they're going to perform. I'm like, if you're going to put all of this in the description, you need to make sure that these shades perform the way they need to. I feel like I look like a patchy, hot, flaky, glittery mess right now. And I just can't wait to get this makeup off this my face. This is my initial raw impression. I am not a fan of this palette. I'm sorry if anybody is a fan of this palette you got it to work for you great i just think that i have way too many colors in my collection besides even that pat mcgrath palette for this to just stick around it's it's i i don't like it guys i'm sorry it's patchy look how patchy it is this this is patchy Ooh. i mean and i just put it on imagine what it would look like after some time I think this color, I mean, the gold color is beautiful once you put some glitter, but you got to have glitter glue on it with it. Yeah, sorry, guys. It's a no for me. So, really disappointing. I think it's beautiful. The color scheme, I'm really here for it, but mm -mm, I'm sorry. No, I cannot recommend this palette in good faith. I just can't. And I, you know, I like makeup that's inexpensive, but I like it to be perform well. And... $28 is not really inexpensive for a palette. That's basically $30. And this is online only, so you can only get the shipping. And you know what, also, you can only get sh free shipping if you spend $50. Who wants to spend an extra $20 sometimes for shipping? So, let me know what you think about this palette down below. And I, <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't work out, guys. And that's just the way it goes but i'll be back with another video for you guys very soon and thank you for tuning in to me today and experiencing this wonderful journey of this particular eyeshadow palette i, I, I think this is the most disappointed i've been with a whole entire eyeshadow palette on my channel but okay so i will see you guys later in another video and take care bye and I, I, I'm, I'm a kind of hit. I'm a hit a sad chair dance. Cause ooh, just sad.